Hey everybody, so I want to talk about a team that is off to a fantastic start this season, but nobody's really talking about them, and that's the Tampa Bay Lightning. Tampa Bay Lightning are off to a phenomenal start. Uh, yes, they did lose the other night to Arizona 7-1, to but that was just a real bad night, and they b came back last night with an 8-3 to drubbing of the New Jersey Devils, so there's nothing to worry about there. That was just one bad game. Tampa Bay has been awesome this year, but no one's really talking about them. And I think the main reason that no one's talking about them is because this is what we expected. They're not doing anything spectacular that we didn't see coming the way some other teams who are in playoff spots right now are. Um, Tampa Bay is incredible, but we knew they were going to be incredible, and the only way for them to be a story would be if they were 500 or worse right now and struggling. Then they'd be all over the news, but um, they're not. They're off to a great start, and this is pretty much exactly what we expected. So while they're off to a fantastic start, it's pretty much par for the course for what we expected from the Lightning. Um... And we expect that much from the Lightning because their roster is so good. They, I think the Lightning have the best top-to-bottom roster in the NHL. Um, they're second in the NHL as far as points in the league go. Behind only Nashville, they're behind by one point, and they've played one less game. So by the end of the season, I think Tampa Bay is probably going to be a President's Trophy winner, and they should be the best team in the league. There's, they just, they're such a complete team from top to bottom, all three f phases of the game, offense, defense, goaltending. There, there's no other team with a better top to bottom roster than Tampa Bay, I don't think. Because if you look at Nashville, who's probably their closest competition, Nashville's got the goaltending, Tampa Bay's got the goaltending. Nashville's got the defense, Tampa Bay's got pretty good defense. I'd give Nashville a slight edge on defense, but Tampa Bay definitely has more star power up front and at the forward position than Nashville does. Nashville's got, you know, Johansson, Arvidsson, and Forsberg as their top line. But after that, the star power, the big names kind of diminish a little bit. Tampa Bay, they've got, you know, some big time star power up front. Um, Winnipeg, another team pretty close to Tampa. Winnipeg's got the goaltending, Tampa's got the goaltending. Winnipeg's got the defense, Tampa's got the defense. Winnipeg's got some really good forwards. Tampa Bay obviously has some incredible forwards. I'd give Tampa Bay the slight edge. Slight edge up front and definitely the edge on defense by a little bit. Um, so Tampa roster-wise beats out Winnipeg by a little bit. San Jose, San Jose's got a good defense. San Jose's got... A good goaltender. Tampa Bay has a great goaltender. Tampa Bay beats San Jose in goaltending and up front for sure. Tampa Bay has way more star star power at the forward position than than San Jose does. Um, Toronto, Tampa Bay's goaltending and defense blows Toronto's goaltending and defense away. Toronto may have the better forwards, but Tampa Bay's so much better defensively. Um, Pittsburgh. Tampa Bay's defense blows Pittsburgh's defense away. It's not even close. So I think top to bottom, Tampa Bay has the best roster in the entire league. Um, and they, they're they just so good in all three facets of the game. So let's take a look here at what Tampa Bay's done this season. Through 11 games, they're 8-2-1. They have 41 goals for and 30 goals against for a goal differential of plus 11. Their power play right now is operating at 29.3%, so almost 30% on the power play. And they have the best penalty kill in the entire NHL, operating at 93.2% right now. That is astronomical. Um, that will not stay that high all season long, but that is an absolutely incredible penalty kill. That That is a team that can literally take penalties if they want to and it doesn't matter because they're not gonna it's not gonna cost the team um player wise Braden Point is leading the way offensively it's not Stamkos it's not Kucherov it's Braden Point um we, Braden Point had a breakout season last year and he looks like he's having an even better season this year uh he has seven goals and seven assists for 14 points already um 
the, this kid is unbelievable. What a what a find for Tampa Bay. Um, what an incredible player he is turning out to be. I, I love Braden Point, and uh, he just keeps getting better. It's incredible. He he is going to be a star in this league. Nikita Kucherov is second on the team in points. He has five goals and seven assists for 12 points. Kucherov seems to be kind of off to a slow start. He's still over a point per game, and this is considered a slow start for him. It's certainly slower than the start he had last season, but he he can absolutely pick it up as the season goes along. He has a chance to get to 100 points again, even though he's only on pace for you know 80, 90 something now. Um, he he can definitely get to 100 because. It seems like he's off to a slow start, and he's still over a point per game. Uh, he can score in bunches, and I expect him to do so at some point this season. And third on the team in point is Yanni Gord. Four goals, eight assists for 12 points. Another another guy, he's a third-line guy, but he's off to a really good start offensively. And notice, notice whose names are not there. Tyler Johnson, not in the top three in scoring. Steven Stamkos, not in the top three in scoring. Victor Hedman, not in, even close to being on near the top in scoring. You're getting contributions in your leading scores right now. I mean, Kucherov's a superstar. He, you expect it from him. But from guys that you probably wouldn't have guessed to lead the team in scoring. Yanni Gord, Braden Point. Um, they, they're getting... It's not like... They're completely reliant on Stamkos and Kucherov as the team superstars to lead the way. They have a great supporting cast around them, and these guys are proving that they can play just as well as the stars on the team. And Braden Point is, at this point, a star on the team and going to be a superstar on the team. JT Miller, another guy whose name's not on there. You know, their big names don't have to carry the load completely by themselves. They have other guys that can do it as well. As far as goaltending goes, Andre Vasilevsky off to a great start. 6-1-1 one one with a 935 save percentage and a 1.98 goals against. So he's won six of his eight starts. Um, his, his save percentage is over 93%, and he's giving up less than two goals a game. Those are Vesna numbers. We'll see how, if he can keep it up all season long. I mean, you would expect his goals against to probably creep into the low twos. That's still fantastic. Save percentage, if that stays up near 93 or, you know, 930-something, high 920s, he, he's, he was my pick to win the Vesna before the season started, and he's off to a Vesna-type start. So uh, Vasilevsky's been incredible for in goal for Tampa. So for me, this is the best team in the league right here, and nobody's really talking about them right now because we expected this from them. We expected them to be the best team. We expected them to be this freaking good. But boy, do they deserve to be talked about because they are really freaking good. So um, that's what I've got on the Tampa Bay Lightning. Let me know what you think down in the comments section below. Like, comment, share, subscribe, follow on social media, check out offthewallhockey.com. All those links are down in the description. If you'd like to further support Off The Wall Hockey, our link to our Patreon page also down in the description keep spreading the word about this channel let's keep this thing growing thank you very much for watching and i i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll talk to you guys soon